So what does it mean to be a solution of a system? Well, solution of a linear system of n variables is an n tuple, s1 through sn, such that when si is substituted for xi, each equation becomes a true statement. The set of all possible solutions is known as a solution set. So let's look at an example. 2 x1 plus x2 minus 2 x3 equal to 3. The next equation, x1 minus x2 minus x3 is equal to 0. And my third equation, x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 12. So I'm going to have a point 2, 1, 1. I want to know, is this point a solution of my system? Well, let's check. We're going to stick things in. I have 2 times x1, which is 2, plus x2, which is 1, minus 2 times x3, which is 1. So this is 4, plus 1 is 5, minus 2 is 3. And that's what the first equation should equal. Let's try the next equation. I have x1, which is 2, minus x2, which is 1, minus x3, which is 1, equal to, well, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 1 is 0. And this is what the second equation said. What about the third equation? x1 is 2 plus x2 is 1 plus 3 times x3, which is 1. So this is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 3 is 6. And you'll notice this does not satisfy the last equation. The last equation says it should be equal to 12. So no, if this were to be a solution, every single one of these equations would, equations would give a true statement. But this last one doesn't. Let's try again. This time, I'm going to use 3.5, 1, and 2.5. My point doesn't want to work. 2.5. We'll use a little circle for a decimal. So I have 2 times x1, which is 3.5, plus x2, which is 1, minus 2 times x3, which in this case is 2.5. So this is 7, plus 1 is 8 minus 5, which is 3. So that one gives a true statement. What about the second equation? x1, which is 3.5, minus x2, which is 1, minus x3, which is 2.5. 3, mi three and a half minus 1 is 2 and a half, minus 2 and a half is zero. So that one gives a true statement. What about the third equation? Well, x1 is 3.5 plus x2 is 1 plus 3 times x3, which is 2.5. 3.5 times one, or plus 1 is 4.5, and then 3 
times 2.5 is 7.5. So 4.5 plus 7.5 is 12. So this one is a solution. Is it the only possible solution? Well, we don't know that, but this one is definitely a solution. A linear system with at least one solution is known as consistent, and a linear system with no solutions is known as inconsistent. A linear system with no more than one solution is known as independent, and a linear system with more than one solution is known as dependent. So let's think about all the possibilities here. The easiest case to think of is lines. So let's think about some lines. How can two lines be graphed? And what can we determine from that? Well, they could intersect. In this case, we would have a single solution, their intersection point. So this right here would be consistent and independent. How else can we do two lines? Well, if they don't intersect once, maybe they don't intersect at all. We have parallel lines. So these never intersect. So these have no solution. These are inconsistent and independent. Well, how else can we do two lines? Is it possible for us to make two lines intersect twice? Well, actually, yes. If they're the same line. If they're the same line, they actually intersect infinitely many times. So, infinite solutions. This is consistent, but it's dependent. And in this case, they intersect at every single point. So every single point on the line qualifies as a solution.